Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some tips that you can apply when you have like language changes problems. So I'm sure that there's a lot of students who got accepted to MRSM and since Form 1 until Form 3, you guys learn in BM, which is Science and Math in BM, just like me. So here is the tips that I really, really apply until right now. And you need to keep in mind that you can success like everybody else. You know that before this, since Form 1 until Form 3, I learned Science and Math in BM. So really, really difficult for me to adapt with language changes problems at first. So here's are the tips that I really, really apply and really help me a lot in understand and remember all the terms in English. So the first tips is try to change your mindset. Okay, at first, you guys need to know that my mindset is just like the same as you guys. We are in the same situations. So mindset is really, really important for you guys because at first, I'm sure that you guys have this mindset too. So I'm, sh I'm thinking of the language problems when I need to convert from BM to English, it's really, really difficult and it will affect my result. That is the way I'm thinking before I'm started to learn and work hard. So this is not the best mindset. So if you have this mindset, try to change right now or during first lesson at MRSM. So what things that change my mindset is I'm sure that MRSM students, since Form 1, they work harder. They work hard to adapt with language changing problems. So it's the same like you guys. So if you start to work hard, then you will realize that you have a lot of benefits that you will gain if you work hard starts from right now. So try to change your mindset. Okay, so you need to Keep in mind that language changing problems is not a big deal because you have like, you have basic English. You need to know that you learn English since kindergarten or primary school and until right now. So you need to keep in mind that English that we use in biology, physics, chemistry is not like bombastic words it's just like simple english for you to understand so the next steps is try to buy like any exercise xpm books which is it's really really um helped me a lot in understand all the explanations in the textbooks so firstly what you guys need to know is let's see you guys need to Explain the formation of urine. Okay, this is form four subtopics. So this is formation of urine. So you guys can see that there's a lot of terms that you guys need to understand and you guys need to remember. So what I usually do is I try to search, I try to find any books, any exercise books that have like subtopics. So you guys can. You guys can buy like these books, this analysis per topic because there's a lot of subtopics and a lot of questions in different subtopic. So here's here is the questions that related to formation of urine. So this is a question that related to the formation of urine. So so by doing this. You need to like try to search paper to which is um, subjective questions where you need to explain it by yourself during exam. So I decided to buy these books and then try to search for the answer. Like okay, like this. Okay, you guys can you guys can see. This is the process Q, which is ultra filtration. Okay, so here's the explanation where you guys need to like read by your own self. Try to read 
and try to understand it like, like in the simplest way you guys need to read try to understand and just try to explain it to yourself and this really really help you guys in remembering the terms and where you guys need to use these terms in your AC like you know that biology have like AC and also chemistry have their own AC and also physics so by doing this you guys can know how the format and how actually the question will come out and how actually you guys can answer properly and get marks okay what you guys need to remember is try to um, understand and try to remember all the terms and make sure your spelling is correct so if your spelling is wrong then your term is wrong okay so the next tips is try to not use pm books okay this is actually my teacher's advice if you want to like buy bm books at any store which with your intention is you want to like translate it from bm to english this is the worst thing ever because you need to know that when you translate from bm to english this is more difficult than you want to understand the terms in english and remember the term in english what i usually do is i try to read the textbook read before class okay read before class and try to understand it in your own ways if you still didn't understand you during teacher uh teaching so before you going out from lab try to ask your teacher explanation more details if you didn't understand certain topics and try to not procrastinate to us because i'm sure that you will forget in the future when you want to ask your teacher maybe like um next week you want to ask your teacher then you will probably um forget about it and then why the things that really really benefits uh for you guys is if you didn't understand right now try to uh, you guys try to like um search for youtube channel and their explanations is really really the best if you didn't uh understand like certain topics just like search the topics and you will find there's a lot of best explanation for you guys to learn and i'm sure that there's a lot of boarding school that didn't allow students to bring like smartphone ipad or any device that help you to find the best informations and the best explanation for you guys to learn in english so you guys need to know that you have like less than two weeks to prepare for upcoming registrations so this is the best opportunity to, for you guys to like read um try to read um online textbooks like in pdf form and telegram any telegram groups that you guys can prepare for your upcoming school and try to search a lot of youtube videos and this will help you to understand more details about certain topics and i want to let you guys know is try to keep working try to keep moving and try to work harder it's really really difficult at first to start something new which is try to learn in english like automatically where you need to change all the terms from bm to english since form 4 right now so it's really really difficult at first but tr try to keep working try to work harder and alhamdulillah until right now i i see the language problems is not a big deal anymore because you have worked harder which is you need to start from right now which is you have a lot of times to work hard so this is not the reasons why you cannot success D you have a lot of opportunity and this opportunity is really really will benefit you guys when you want to learn at university 
especially biology, chemistry, and physics. This will really, really help you guys in the future. Trust me. So, if you guys have like any questions that you want to ask me, you guys can write in the comment section or directly DM me through my Instagram. I think that's all. I want to like say you guys can success like everybody else. You guys need to know that you you guys can do the best like everybody else if you work hard since right now. So you need to start right now and never regret about this because you have the best opportunity for you to work hard and try to achieve your goals. If you have achieved your goals, then you need to work smart, which is right now you need to work hard and then in the future you need to work smart to achieve E plus in your SPM. So that's all from me. Thank you and see you guys in my next video. Bye.